friends here we are talking about find and replace with set command see this is the syntax for your set command now if you want to use that for your find and replace concept then these three are the syntaxes now let me explain them on command line see here i am creating a new file by taking top six lines from etsy password file just for our practice and now if you see the content of your new file this is the content now here let's say i want to replace root with xyg in all places then you have to find wherever root is there in that place you have to replace with xyg so for that you can use set command in this way simply set search for root and replace with xyg in all places in this file now if you see the output wherever root is there there now we are seeing xyz and by default set command is not going to edit the original file information see now if you see the your file still it is there with the root only that means in this syntax set command simply reading the content from this and it is displaying on command line while displaying on command line root is replacing with xyz suppose i want to edit my original file itself then you have to use set command with hyphen i option so simply hyphen i then search for root replace with xyz in all places in this file now see the content so now in your original file root is replaced with xyz but be clear hyphen i option with set command is very very dangerous because directly it is going to edit your file your original file is no more available that's why whenever if you are using hyphen i option to replace something in your original file please take a backup so for that you no need to take a backup manually set itself can take that backup if you follow this syntax let me show you that set hyphen i let's say i want to take a backup with my original file dot old file you can take any name here then now let me replace bash so bash i want to replace with sh now see new file wherever bash is there there we are replacing with sh and if you list in your current location there is a backup file old file see here whatever you provided after i dot which is that extension your original file will be taken as a backup that's it now if you see your original file this is the information with the bash now we replace bash with sh that is there in your this file that's it see suppose if you want to replace let's say root with xyz then you are following this syntax see here instead of taking slash as the delimiter in your find and replace you can take some other delimiter also let me show you that see suppose in this syntax instead of slash i am taking pipeline that's it now see the result so it's working fine not only that let me take once again a different delimiter instead of slash suppose i am taking colon that's it so likewise you can take any delimiter but the condition is in all three places you have to take same delimiter and that delimiter must be single character even comma also you can take let me show you that that's it but when you will choose different delimiters very simple see suppose i have a demo.sh file so in this let's say i want to replace this entire bin bash with user bin bash then basically we will do in this way search slash your search string is this one bin bash then slash replace with user bin bash in all places see is it working no because whatever the delimiter you are having in your set command same delimiter is there in your required search string also that's why one way is you just escape them by using this slash in this way
now see the result okay sorry so here this is such a string now see the result it's working so instead of getting confusion in this way whenever if your string search string and replace string is having slash delimiter in that case use different delimiter in your set command see here pipeline here pipeline and then here pipeline that's good no and you can also use variables in your find and replace concept of set let me show you that see suppose let me take our new file itself so old string i am taking like this let's say root and i want to replace that with let's say capital letters root now set see you are going to use variables in your set command that's why you have to take double quotations s slash then your old string then slash replace that with new string in all places that's it so suppose in your old or in new string let's say there is a slash then don't take slash in your said syntax instead of slash here take pipeline or comma or some other delimiter that's it